Somebody say it's on. Now, when I say it's on, that is not just a statement, but a commitment to taking your life from expectation to. I got to preach it two more weeks. You didn't say it bold enough. It is a commitment to taking your life from expectation to what? Execution from expectation to execution. The average person sitting in this room and watching online is filled with expectation. Oh, I got great expectation. I could tell the whole church up right there. I expect God to do something special in my life. I expect to go to another level. I expect 2024 going to be my year. But let's just flip over that and just say, but who's going to execute some stuff? Put this in your phone if you don't mind. Put this in your notes. The, the, the E between expectation and execution is effort. The distance between expectation and execution is effort. The difference between expectation and execution is effort. Stop saying what you want if you're not willing to put the effort in to get it done. Oh, I'm not touching and agreeing with nobody for a new house in 2024 who ain't going to put the effort in at saving in 2023. No, some of us have become miracle junkies that we think God is a genie in a bottle that all we got to do is come to church, put $3 in a bucket and say, I want this. And he is now obligated to do it. No, faith without works is dead. I, I don't know who I'm preaching to, but in 2024, you're going to see effort from me. Yeah, you're going to see effort from me. I'm going to do my part so that God can do his part. Have you ever stopped to consider that most of the miracles that take place in the New Testament required effort from the person who got the miracle? Good morning, you guys. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Glow Up Series Episode 5. Wait, like, I cannot believe we are already on the fifth episode. Like, I love that for us. Um, if you've been following my journey, then you already know what it is. But if you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey, my name is Brianna. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I do a lot of content, mainly for fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. But lately, your girl has been in her glow up bag, okay? We've been doing a series on my glow up diary. So if you have not tuned in, make sure you go ahead and check out episodes one through four, girl, so you can, you know, join the fam and hop on it with us because we got goals for 2024 that we are going to reach okay period we are about to approach episode six real real soon and it's going to be our six week check-in as well so we're going to definitely save the check-ins for next week earlier today i did go to the gym i went by trader joe's as well and now your girl has been craving a acai bowl so I'm about to get one because why not? It's currently my lunch time. So I was like, you know what? Let me at the house for a second. So if you watched the last week's episode, we talked about God's timing and definitely check out that episode if you haven't already. I recently just had this calmness over me, you guys, where I just had this realization that I really need to stop praying about something and then still picking it back up, back up and worry about it. When we pray about something, we need to leave it there and trust that God is going to work itself out. That's not something that I've been doing. So I've been literally driving myself crazy worrying about something that is literally outside of my control. God got me. Why am I worried about this goal is not going to get achieved or if I'm not going to be able to do this? Like, I trust him for one thing. I need to be trusting him for all things. If it's meant for me, it's going to be for me. So I just want to encourage you guys, if there is something that you want to do, there's a goal that you want to achieve, and you feel like it's not reachable, it is. If you feel like you're never gonna get there, you will. So we are all ready to go. Hair is done. I did go ahead and straighten it just to kind of switch it up from the curls. But let me show you the outfit and then we're about to head out. So this is the outfit. Really simple and casual. I just have the, on this two-piece set from Fashion Nova. Carnigan is from um, Torrent. And then I have this Amazon bag I paired it with. Let's go ahead and head out and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>
let's open it up so i can show y'all what it looks like so i did get some extra granola because why not and i feel like they'd be sometime a little stingy with the granola i did go ahead and add some pineapple as well too um i got the kids bowl i got um pineapple strawberry and banana granola and honey and of course the little akai stuff this is what it looks like let me see if i can get you guys a better um angle so this is how it looks it looks so good right oh i can't wait to eat this when i get home so now i'm about to get ready to head back home because your girl gotta get back to work so i will check in with you guys later on I'm getting ready to film this HelloFresh campaign and I'm super excited. I've literally never worked with them before. It's one of my very first time. Well, this is my very first time working with any type of meal subscription at company so i'm excited to get into it y'all i'm sure you guys know what hellofresh is but if you don't it's pretty much a meal kit subscription that you can go on and pick your selected meals for the week and then they send you a fresh ingredients with everything that you need to your home um, packaged in a well protected box okay when i tell you it be fresh and cold and it's it's good to go like y'all the packaging is crazy so we're gonna get into that but they sent me three meals for this week, you guys. Um, I chose the warm butter shrimp rolls, uh, Peruvian chili sauce steak stir fry, and the prosciutto prosciutto wrapped chicken. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but these are the meals and what they look like. They also come with instructions on the back as well too, so you don't have to worry about not being able to, you know, make them you can literally follow the step-by-step -step instructions and it's going to show you exactly how to make it it's going to tell you all the ingredients that you're going to need to make it as well too so i'm super excited to get started um also i did go ahead and do a, pick, a few pickups from amazon you guys i recently purchased like i'm really trying to get to my organization bag okay this year i told myself i was going to get more organized i was going to declutter one of the things that i wanted to organize is under my um, my sink cabinet where all of my like hair stuff are my skincare like so I went ahead and ordered this little um, organizer I also bought this new pot I really needed or not a pot I needed a new um, pan and uh, this one came with a lid so I was like why not grab this one and it was also very affordable too like 20 something dollars y'all know i've been cooking a lot y'all know i've been cooking a lot instead of ordering out and i bought this new um what is the actual name for this this is a vegetable chopper okay and as you can see your girl is gonna get really in knee deep into the chopping okay i don't have to worry about chopping everything up with my hands onions uh cucumbers potatoes like all that i don't have to worry about cutting another thing okay i can just go ahead and put it in here the whole onion go ahead and have a slice up it's gonna go right into this little container and your girl's ready to go a tool to assist with the cooking process oh we definitely gonna get into it okay feels like, feels like.
ready to whip up some lunch and if you're anything like me and love a good quick and a good meal then you want to check out hello fresh okay because we're about to make another hello fresh meal this is going to be their warm buttered shrimp rolls with creamy lemon slaw and seasoned potato wedges doesn't that sound just so good y'all and i'm super excited to get started um, i've been wanting to try a new different type of recipe than what my norm is you know i know i've been doing a lot of you know protein vegetables and rice has been like my go-to so it's nice to switch it up a little bit and try something different and we're gonna do just that with HelloFresh. so let me go ahead and get the ingredients out so we can go ahead and get started Execution. 